Since 2010, we have rallied mountain bikers from all over the world, all responding to a single call, the Langkawi International Mountain Bike Challenge. This year, we're back to bring you more. Endurance, determination and sportsmanship will be put to the test. Who will be crowned the king and queen of the fourth edition of LIMBC? Under the hot and humid Southeast Asian climate, the race will take place on the tropical island of Langkawi. Participants from over 20 countries worldwide will race against each other for a share of 125,000 US dollars in four categories the men's open, the women's open, the men's masters, and the senior men's masters. This week long event encompasses six stages in total, with each respective round challenging not only the physical but also the mental strength of each contestant. Kickstarting with a first ever UCI MTB World Marathon Series qualifying round in Asia, Jamboree Race, followed by a prologue and round island event in stage one. Langkawi East to West in Stage 2. In Stage 3, something new awaits the participants in the Langkawi Marathon and the competition levels down in Stage 4's Langkawi Geopark Lab. Before ending with Stage 5, which takes place on the beautiful Pantai Kok Beach with a short circuit lap. Under the blueprint for the development of tourism for Langkawi, which was launched by our Prime Minister, in uh, NR 2011, one of our main target will be to bring as many event, iconic events as possible to Langkawi. And I think we have been doing that and I think there will be many other international events this year as well as next year. Back in 2012, we saw some 800 participants competing in the Trade Winds Jamboree a day before the event, with the race flagged off by honorary patron Tun Dr. Mahate Muhammad. This edition was the first to have five stages, plus a prologue round, as well as the incentive of 125,000 US dollars. Conquering the men's open in the LIMBC 2012 was Fabian Geiger overthrowing the previous champion, Carl Platt. While in the Women's Open, Leah Davison attained a surprise victory as this first-time LIMBC rider triumphed over the harsh and unforgiving courses. Highlights of the Malaysian riders were given to these three best finishers. Abdul Razak Kamis, who won third place in the Senior Men's Master. Maziaton Muhammad Radzi claiming 9th spot in the Women's Open and Fauzan Ahmad Lutfi as he took 15th place in the Men's Open. Fabian Geiger, LIMBC 2012 overall champion, is back this year to defend his title. Last year, the toughest one was for sure uh, the marathon where we had to do 3 laps on 23 kilometers. It was it's in the middle of the week, we are already tired and this one will be tough again. What I look the most forward is uh, to the cross country and the loss on the beach, so this is very nice. Yeah. So we are touring the whole world uh, doing mountain bike racing, yeah, so yeah, pretty much the whole world. And uh, it's a fun place to come to, so here is kind of a rainforest uh, which we are not used to and uh, that makes a difference. And uh, yeah, the weather is also good, so uh, even if it's raining it makes it fun. I'm nervous. Scared of heights before, but still scared of heights, but working with these guys in the NAM crew, uh, it, it felt safe. For me, it was super cool. I, I liked it a lot. It was cool to have the same you as the Edo. It was great. Langkawi, 
one of Malaysia's idyllic island gems which is steeped in history and culture and blessed with natural beauty. Today, the jewel of Kreda is fast becoming a tourism haven, a hub for endless excitement. From traditional crafts to water sports, jungle trekking to spelunking, there is always something for visitors to discover on this exquisite island. Visitors from near and far will get to explore the three geoforests, as Langkawi was accorded World Geopark status by UNESCO in 2007. And what better way to experience the island than to take part in the LINBC 2013, no? Langkawi is a nature paradise for everybody. Yeah? And uh, we have many firsts in Langkawi in terms of the uh, uh, we have the geopark. It is the first geopark in this, in this part of the world. And we have beautiful beaches. And uh, together with it, we are so shrouded with the myth and legends, you know, which are, I think, which are also attractive to the visitors and tourists to Lankari. So we have many things to offer, uh, apart from good infrastructure in Lankari. Um, the people, the community, I think they're all very supportive of the many events that we have in Lankari. Last year was first year here and I was really surprised how, how nice this place is, Langkawi, and how good organized the race is. So I was, after two, three days after the race, I was already sure to, to, to come back again. And last year was a warm and that's for sure also motivation to come back and maybe to take another yellow jersey. Uh, we are touring the whole world, uh, so doing racing pretty much all over and uh, to come here as so it's kind of a rainforest as well and uh, yeah, it's, it's fun mountain biking and uh, we really enjoy it for sure. Nankawi would uh, be very proud uh, to have uh, cycling and mountain biking as uh, uh, one of the iconic events in Nankawi because uh, it is very much uh, uh, in seen with what we are trying to promote to the world. Uh, for the eco-related uh, activities and sports in Langkawi. I mean, this is, as I said, uh, uh, would uh, further reinforce our branding, the new branding that we have, naturally Langkawi. Similar to last year, the LIMBC 2013 will have a total of six stages. The Prologue Round, which is a time trial for all riders, and stages one to five. In the prologue heat, the racers will embark on a 2.4-kilometer time trial around Legenda Park and back to the starting point at Eagle Square. The next day will follow the first stage of the race, which will take place around the island itself, beginning and finishing at Legenda Park. On this 65-kilometer long circuit, riders will get a general idea of what to expect during the rest of the racing event all accompanied with a view of luscious greens and picturesque natural backdrops. Stage 2 will kickstart on the next day at Eagle Square and the 45km route will end at Oriental Village. This will be the first severe test for all the riders starting with a climb at Buffalo Park. This stage will also feature the second longest track of the race. Stage 3 is the Langkawi Marathon, where riders will have to complete two to three laps depending on respective categories starting at Oriental Village. This will be a test of physical strength and mental endurance. The rigorous terrain and unforgiving hills will look to break the spirit of riders. The Langkawi Geopark Lap and Olympic Distance Circuit will take place in Stage 4, which will run for four and a half kilometers. The distance to and from Oriental village. Riders will have to navigate through a harsh natural mangrove forest filled with vibrant wildlife. Finally, Stage 5 will take off at the Pantai Kok Short Circuit Lap. Taking place on the beach, this 1.6km round will give the riders a chance to showcase their sprinting abilities. Who will be the king of sprint? Participants will stand a chance for a share of the 125,000 US dollar prize money, with each round rewarding riders who finish in the first 10 places and to the 15th for the best overall riders in the men's and women's open, while for the men's masters and the senior men's masters, rewards shall be given to the first to sixth best finishers. Other awards that will be given out are the Best Asian Rider Award and the Best Malaysian Rider Award.
Human Voyage Sindiran Berhad, a leading event management company led by Datuk Malik Maidin, will be partnering with two mountain bike teams this year, Orange Monkey Pro Team and Ultra Sport Rose Racing Team. The Orange Monkey Pro Team is made up of David Fletcher and Ben Roth of Great Britain and African Continental and South African Under-23 National Champion Rock Guzer. The Ultra Sport Rose Racing Team is a pro mountain bike team consisting of two riders from Germany, Stefan Thum and Simon Gegenheimer. In this year's Jamboree that will take place a day before the LIMBC 2013, over 500 local bikers will assemble for the 40km fun ride. Meanwhile, in the main event starting on September the 30th, make sure you catch the thrilling races of 189 riders from all over the world battling it out during the week-long event. Among the riders to watch out for this year are LIMBC 2012 Men's Open Champ Fabian Peter Geiger and Women's Open Overall Winner Leah Davison. Also competing in the Men's Open this year is French biker Maxime Marot and Kohei Yamamoto from Japan. For sure, I can feel a bit pressure, but I mean, uh, I don't care about that. I'm, I'm here for, to make a good race, a race for myself. I know I won last year, I know what I, can, what I can do, and I will do my best this year again. So a race like this, is for sure we help, help each other as much as we can. So in the end, it's an individual race, so we, uh, we race for the win and uh, as a four podium. And uh, if I can win, uh, I'm happy. If, if Fabian win, I will still be happy because it's a teammate. On January the 3rd, 2013, the world of sports was shaken by the news of the unexpected death of a young mountain biker. Burry Stander was involved in a fatal accident whilst on a training ride in Shelley Beach at the age of 25. Burry Willie Stander was born on September the 16th, 1987 in Port Shepston, South Africa. He took part in the Beijing 2008 and London 2012 Olympics. Other achievements include winning first place in the 2009 Under-23 World Championship and second place in the LIMBC 2011. LIMBC 2012 was his final race outside of South Africa, racing with his wife Cherise Taylor, a world-class mountain bike racer and family man. Barry Stander, you will be missed. Another special feature at this year's event is the UCI MTB Marathon World Series, the qualifying event for the upcoming UCI Mountain Bike Marathon World Championship to be held in South Africa in June 2014. This qualifying event will flag off two days before LIMBC 2013, sharing the Stage 3 course that has been selected to host the action. And this is the first time an Asian country has been chosen to host this international event. With two world-class mountain biking competitions going on at around the same time, things in Langkawi are sure to heat up. Asia was the one continent where we didn't have a round of the marathon series the last couple of years. Um, we'd also had experience of the stage race here. We knew the organisation was good. Uh, the UCI also tries to not just look for a race, but also look for a venue where mountain biking is going to be developed. I think um, with all UCI sanctioned races, safety is obviously paramount. Um, there, there's, there's a lot of things that we need to look at in terms of the weather conditions, which um, how the course is designed so that we allow for any changes in the weather conditions where they need to change the course. That's one of the largest areas because it's a marathon course. The other aspects is the most obvious things. How rideable is the course? Um, what aspects in terms of the professional ability of the riders? And taking into consideration a lot of the, 
the level of the other competitors. So trying to balance a lot of that and making sure that the course is as safe as possible um, and ensuring that it's of international standard as well. Uh, we have to make sure all the qualities and we have double check for all the costs and then we have a good support from all local and uh, local authority. The UCI team here probably arrives anything between like four, about three, three days to about five days before any big race. Um, and when I say big race, anything with big international, um, top world class, world ranking riders. What we do is we actually go through, walk through the course, um, probably on a daily basis, different elements of every course is checked. Um, like today, for instance, if you look behind me, there's a, there's a bridge that was being built. A day ago, this bridge was in there. We'll check it. When, the, when it's being built in a structural standpoint, then we'll check it today that it's rideable. We'll still check it tomorrow to ensure that the racing elements are looked into. So you're probably looking at, um, on a daily basis, at least two or three times on different courses. Asia's the last part of the jigsaw, really. So we've had um, events in South Africa, uh, South America, we go to Chile. In Europe, we go France, Switzerland, Italy, Denmark, uh, Latvia. It's, it varies year to year. It's sort of between 12 and 15 rounds a year. Uh, but now we're covering four continents out of the five. We're just missing uh, Oceania uh, and just the one round in, in Asia, in Lankawa, yeah. I hope all the riders can enjoy the track because the track is multi-track. Multi they have a climb, river crossing, downhill, rock garden, everything is there. It means something different than other places. Langkawi has a lot of elements from a natural standpoint, yeah, from a natural sort of environment, which challenges any of the sort of international mountain bikers that you have out there in the world today. I think for Langkawi, we, we, we'd like to encourage uh, more local riders. So I think it's important, this event is important for, for Asian riders and for the Asian cycling community. And I think it's, it's great that the, the big name European riders come here, but I think that's a way for the organisation to attract more locals, to see that they can come here and they can race against the best guys in the world, people that they see on the television and they read about them in the magazines, but they can actually come and race them, you know, and it's, it's, not, uh, it's not something that is exclusive just for the professionals. It is interesting to note that uh, they have planned a trail, uh, taking all the bikers to very interesting places, um, apart from the uh, geo parks that we have, apart from the beaches that we have. You know? uh, there are many other Attraction. We are also taking to, for example, to the uh, the Living Museum, you know, the Eagle Square, you know, and many other places uh, of interest, of great interest to to the visitors. You know, because we must remember that it's not just the bikers; they are bringing with them the family as well. We are uh, very thankful, and uh, we uh, I, I would certainly like to express our deep appreciation to the Human Voyage uh, uh, Syndrome Braha for uh, having successfully organized this uh, LIMBC, LIMBC for four consecutive years. Yeah? And I think every year we could see that there has, lot, there has been a lot of improvement and this is the fourth time they're organizing this. Yeah, we pretty much trained all season long, yet uh, almost every race, every week in the competition. This will be the last race of the year. So we are now in perfect shape and you're ready. So we come here to enjoy it, uh, but we also come here to win it. So, uh, so there are six stages to do and uh, we're going to be on the podium on all of those. So there you go, folks, a sneak preview of the fourth edition of the LIMBC 2013.
Make sure you stay tuned for more as we get the show on the road because Langkawi will set the stage for the hottest race in the world.